Yeah. Well, everybody know Tommy Joseph from Trinidad. I know any time I come to New York, people always want me to carry back. They ain't carry nothing this time, eh? Somebody always want me to carry back down something. A woman meet me, she wants some sneakers, go along for the little boy, a bag for the little girl. I ain't carrying down nothing this time. I have enough thing to carry down. Just the other day, I had to put my suitcase on a diet. The man tell me to take off 14 pounds. I mean, it ain't easy. It ain't easy when you're flying. It ain't nice neither. I mean, it, it's not easy. And these days in Trinidad, they say I have a lot of crime. It ain't plenty. Sometimes a fella might kill a fella. I don't think now and then. It ain't so serious as people are talking about. I mean, news coming here, I thought we had so much murders back home. That ain't true. In the Caribbean, they have plenty murder. Rwanda. Them kind of places in the fire. Yeah, not Trinidad and the Caribbean. You see, the Caribbean, we have something the leaders trying to get together now. They're calling it CARICOM. You see who carry, carry, who come, come. They're working it out in the region. And like it working. Any old ladies and gentlemen, we know his father's there and everybody asks me, but Tommy, everybody singing, look, Errol, come, he blow something. Tommy, you can't sing? Yo, I want to sing for you. I want to sing the road march of Trinidad and Tobago for 1994. Bang! Music! Here comes your coach, huh? Father's Day! Road March for 94. They tell me I get a quick joke. All they want a quick joke? All right, watch me and laugh. Right. Two fellas dead and they go into heaven. But they reach about 12 o'clock in the night. When St. Peter watched the clock, he said, Nah, all they can't get in here now. It's too late. Well, both of them are back. So God said, Peter, we are too long dead. And we ain't want to go back and all. St. Peter said, well, you know what happened? I will take a little chance with all of you. But I can't take it to all of you now. I could only take one. And to do so, all of you want to make up a little rhyme. Or a little riddle. And it must end up with Timbuktu. <laughs> well, boy, the first fella study boy. He said, sitting on a far off land, Gazing at the open sand, all of a sudden there was a caravan in view, and its destination was Timbuktu. <laughs> St. Peter said, yes, that song good. Well, the next fellow now, he's a Trini. So you could imagine the trouble he in. Because you know Trini already, they say there are no Trini in heaven. Because you talk to a Trini, he said, go to hell. Well, this one is thinking, he's studying, he's studying how he's getting in. But the fellow who dead with him, his name is Tim. So he study, he study. St. Peter said, I'm busy and I want to go now. So the fellow study for a couple of seconds. He said, me and Tim went to hunting. And we saw three girls are camping. Since there were three, and we were two, I buck one and Tim. <laughs> T 
St. Peter didn't hesitate. Three women in a bar having a drink. So they're discussing about their husband who have it better. So one asks one, he said, girl, if your husband have to be a beverage, what do you would like your husband to be? She said, well, you see me, I want my husband to be a Pepsi. So here the other one, well, why? She said, because he just come alive. The other one said, well, that is you. I want my husband to be a Coke. She said, why? She said, what do you mean? Coke is it. But her one, she quieted, she didn't say nothing. They said, what about you? She said, I want my husband to be an amaretto. They said, but that is, that is not a beverage. She said, I know it's a liquor. <laughs> well, I know a city band walk off. I ain't seen no musicians. I don't know if the show finished yet. I find the time all right. And you see, I just have so much problems when I travel. You see, this watch I have on, plenty of problems I just have with this. Any country I come in, I must have two passports. One for me and one for my watch. You see, there's a citizen. I don't know how long they want to me talk again. I don't want to be too long. I can't talk long, but I have other things to do in my throat. I see a woman laugh. Darling, why you laugh? I can't understand all you, you know. A fellow ran to the doctor. He said, Doc. Doctor said, what happened? He said, Doc, you know me? The doctor said, yes, use my patient. He said, good. I want to do something. The doctor said, what it is? He said, doctor, castrate me. The doctor said, what? He said, what happened? I is your patient, use my doctor. I said, castrate me. The doctor said, you sure? He said, listen, man, doc. I said, castrate me. Well, boy, the doctor, the doctor said, well, look, here's my patient. Carry him inside. Wash. <laughs> the doctor bobbed it. <laughs> well, after he fixed him up, put on plaster, he walking outside. As he going down the road, he see his partner heading this direction. He said, wait, where are you going? He said, I'm going by the doctor. He said, what are you going and do? He said, boy, you're going and circumcise. He said, oh gosh, that is the word I was trying to remember. Well, um, ladies and gentlemen, I see the fellas and them come back on stage. I don't know if they went to negotiate, but like everything's set now. Give the band a round of all the TNT troubadours. Well, there's the time, you know, they always give Tommy Joseph a little time to say something to get the people in the right groove. And there's the time when they decide to come out and say things. Fella go on races. But you know some fellas, they like to get tips from women. When women give tips, it does win their partner. No doubt it. I see my partner laugh. Let's go racist, brother. Let's play English. I just play English too, but I stop, man. I stop at that. You know, make me stop playing English racing. One day I take up a program and look in a track condition and I see Goodwood South. <laughs> yes, all that is, them things that I'm bugging races. So I, yes. Always these things that happen to me. Once I buy a horse, the horse named Chicken and Chips. As the race start, the announcer said, stick in the box. He said it will be very hard for him to catch up. I mean, it ain't easy. Anyhow, ladies and gentlemen, fellas, be ready to go? Not home. Are you ready to go home? No. So all you staying in New York? All right, right, right. Yeah, yeah.